Okay, when I first got my Living Light Quicksilver 10.0, I was looking for a kitchen setup that was uh, pretty easy to set up, quick, um, and that one person could actually, you know, maneuver around and carry. And uh, originally I was thinking about doing something like a old-fashioned, you know, Boy Scout chuck box. My problem with that is I was originally looking for something to go on the rear deck of the Quicksilver. And uh, I wanted something that was going to be waterproof and lightweight. Uh, there are waterproof, lightweight aluminum chuck boxes out on the market, but those are pretty expensive, so I wasn't able to do those. And then my idea of doing a wooden chuck box um, just wasn't waterproof like I would like it, and um, you know, a lot heavier and more difficult to carry around by myself. So I'm playing around, uh, you know, kind of looking around. I ended up coming across these uh, Camp Shep Sherpas uh, on Amazon, and then looked them up on their website. Now. Um, I'm not affiliated with Camp Shift at all. Uh, I've never talked to them. Bought a few of their products. So you see a few here. They just happen to work out for me. But these Sherpas were pretty neat in that they were lightweight. They weren't waterproof. Uh, so I ended up buying one to see how it would fit inside the camper. And I'll show you where I store them inside. But they fit perfectly in there. Almost like they're made to store in this camper. So I was able to at least be able to store them and keep them on the camper. And they'd be, uh, you know, no water can get to them like it would on the rear deck. I also ended up getting a waterproof um, heavy-duty bag that can be strapped down to the rear deck that these both of these actually fit in. Uh, I've just never actually used it. They store so easily inside the camper. I actually didn't use that uh, storage bag, that waterproof storage bag that I got for the rear deck. So here's everything sort of taken out. This is what the Sherpa looks like when it's in storage. Uh, top comes off and folds off. Um, there is a pocket on the back of it for, to put that in for storage. I actually just keep them in the side bench of the 10.0. So this is what it looks like when it's collapsed. This is what it looks like when it's raised and all together. And I've got a uh, Camp Chef table here that um, I actually don't use that all that often because most campsites I go to already have a picnic table. But for campsites that don't have a picnic table, this can be my dining table. Um, the campsites that have enough room, I actually use this as my prep table. Um, and it's pretty nice because it can be raised and lowered and, and it's pretty compact. And I'll show later how it fits in the camper. But again, it fits in there like it's made for it. And of course, everyone who's got a Quicksilver um, pop-up camper is probably familiar with the aluminum table that comes with it. So this is my basic uh, kitchen setup, and uh, here I'll do a breakdown of everything that's actually inside these, these camp chefs and how the whole kitchen looks like when it's all set up. Here's the table frame, just taken out of the bag and opened up. Hasn't been raised, so this is its lowest height. And as you can see, it's about the same height as uh, the Sherpa. This is the table fully extended. Um, it's got so four different settings, uh, total extra height is maybe about, I don't know, 12 to 14 inches, I guess. So this ends up at full extension about being bar height. Yeah. Sharp is put together, table fully put together. And that's the, th and the table in this setup is at its third setting. So not the highest, but one less. So the way I have these Sherpas set up is this one here has all my bare essentials in it. So if I want to go just car camping or tent camping or, you know, just by myself without the camper, uh, that one has all the bare essentials that I actually need for, for any basic camping trip. Actually, even for a family trip. This one here has some extra items that just make uh, things a little nicer. You know, when I'm going on long extended trips with the family, um, there's an extra grill stove in there so if I just don't want to have the, the two burners don't want to have a little grill I can have that I used to travel around with one of the big Coleman uh, tailgate grills but I found it to be way too big unwieldy and didn't fit really well inside the camper so I went with this uh, this cooking setup here these are the Sherpas opened up uh, what I got in my primary is I've got a Coleman classic two burner stove uh, I've got a griddle that sits on top of that two collapsible wash basins, and then some cork board to put hot pots and pans on. Then inside these two bags is pretty much all the cooking gear that I need, all the utensils, uh, cups, pretty much all that stuff is, is within those two. In the second one, I've got a Coleman grill stove, because uh, uh, we do some grilling, but not 
uh, a lot, so I don't need a big grill. So this would end up being perfect. Plus, it gave me an extra burner that I can use if I've got the whole setup. So from the bottom section of my primary Sherpa, I've got my two burner Coleman Classic. And then what else that came out of there was a griddle, some cork boards, you know, put hot pots and pans on, two collapsible wash basins, eight bowls with uh, some fittings that I can use for uh, a seven gallon aquatainer that I've got. So those are just some extra fittings. Okay, now the bottom section of the second Sherpa, I've got my Coleman stove grill combo. So that gives me a total of three burners plus a grill. So really good when I'm cooking for a large group. Also pulled out of there um, a container that I've got with Ziploc bags, wipes, um, some trash bags on there as well. And then I've got this um, uh, magazine holder that I'm actually holding um, our cutting boards. I've got eight plates. And then I also keep uh, a long lighter in there as well. Next we'll pull up in these two uh, red bags here and we'll... Um, Pull out all the cooking gear and my utensils and all so you can see what I have for cooking. Okay, here are the two red containers. Here's the one that was on the right. Here's the one that was on the left. Here's what it looks like when you first open up the one on the right. Here's what it looks like when you first open up the one on the left. Okay, here's everything that was in the right hand bag. I went ahead and just got rid of the bag. Here's everything that was in the left. Uh, I decided to go with Stanley cooking gear because uh, I really would prefer aluminum, but I tend to uh, be pretty hard on my cooking gear. So I went ahead and went with stainless steel. It's a bit heavier. Um, I'm hoping it lasts a long time. been using about a year, so we'll see how well, uh, how well it does. So the Stanley gear is pretty cool. Uh, this is everything broken out. Uh, this is everything that's in the right-hand bag. This is everything that's in the left hand bag. In the right hand bag, we've got um, coffee press. Uh, I actually usually have two of these. I've got one that I normally keep in the left hand bag, but um, I had an emergency coffee situation the other day and had to pull it out, so I just forgot it and left it at home. But uh, yeah, I normally have two coffee presses because uh, my wife likes different coffee than I do. I've got eight 16 ounce Stanley aluminum uh, insulated mugs. I've got a two liter pot, 1.2 liter pot, uh, two covered bowls, a ladle, a spatula, and then there's a little folding cutting board that comes in that kit. Then I've got frying pan with the lid uh, that also comes with a round cutting board, a uh, little drying rubber thing, and a uh, spatula. In this uh, three liter pot set, I've got the three liter pot, and inside that all this stuff goes. I've got the frying pan, um, I've got a collapsible spoon and spatula, a little round cutting board, six sporks, a little rubber drying thingy, uh, four little bowls, a pretty decent sized bowls actually, um, six small plates, these are about seven inch plates with a little drying rack. So all of this collapses down and fits inside that three liter pot. Uh, also in the left hand bag I've got another coffee press that I normally keep. Again, I only got one with here me today, but I normally have two on me. This I just picked up last week. It's pretty nice. It's a little uh, 20 ounce, uh, sort of like a soup uh, pot. I tend to camp a lot by myself, so this is great. I do a lot of soups and simple meals, so that's perfect just for me. Uh, and also inside there are two cups. What's great about this setup is these two little cups. Go inside a little pot. That closes up, and that can actually sit inside the French press. Now, the top doesn't go on, but that does save actually quite a bit of space inside the bag. These are my utensil bags that are inside the red bags. So, in here, I've got um, my cutting utensils, and in here, I've got uh, things like little collapsible measuring cups rubber spatulas, just small little cooking utensils. And then here I've got um, our eating utensils. So I've got utensils, uh, eating utensils for eight. So here are eating utensils. Again, eating utensils for eight. Each set has four spoons, four knives, four forks. In the big red bag, I've got cutting utensils, scissors. I've got tongs and a whisk. And then the small red bag, I've got rubber spatulas, 
bottle opener, can opener, wine bottle opener, peeler. I've got these collapsible measuring cups and then some measuring spoons. I also keep a uh, military style P38 can opener here, um, mainly for tradition. So inside the yellow bag, I've got wash rags, dry rags, pot holders. I've got a tablecloth for picnic table with clips and an extra drop cloth just in case it's needed. In the blue bag, I've actually got uh, two bowls and a larger measuring cup and a little bit of extra room in there if I want to cram anything else, but right now I really don't have much in there. So in these two little Camp Chef Camp Sherpas, I've got two stoves with a total of three burners, a grill, and then a griddle to use on the two burner. Um, eating utensils for eight, so eight bowls, eight ten inch plates, tableware for eight, all the cooking utensils, knives, cutting boards, lighter, eight stainless steel insulated cups, 2 liter pot, 1.2 liter pot, two covered bowls, ladle, spatula, folding cutting board, frying pan, cutting board, another spatula, a little drying thing, two soup cups, 20 ounce cooking pot, uh, two French presses, again I only have one here with me today, but I usually have two, three liter pot, another frying pan, collapsible spoon and spatula, six forks, four bowls, six seven inch plates, and a drying rack, two large mixing bowls, a large measuring cup, table cover, drop cloth, table cover clips, pot holders, drying rags, washing rags, uh, cork trivets, a bin with trash bags, ziplot bags, wipes, dishwashing detergent and scrubby, and two collapsible wash bins. So the table fits perfectly lengthwise, about the length of the bench. As you can see, the Camp Chef Sherpas fit perfectly between the side bench and the table and the Quicksilver 10.0.